capital is expanded, it can increase its production. So instead of one of these machines, they put in another one. And they need more people to do other jobs. And it actually expands a lot. Right. The machine consists of, firstly, to move the job between what these people were doing manually, to move the job along, we use a conveyor belt. <coughs> so there is a motor, the motor is driving these, and this conveyor belt is moving all along. The jobs that come from the factory is coming in here. And they are blocked by a gate. That gate, when you put power on the solenoid that operates the gate, that gate will turn and put one job on the conveyor belt. Only one job. It can be not just an arm moving, it can be something that will grab one job and put it on the belt and then stop. Grab another job, put it on the belt. So there's one job on the belt at any time. When it comes onto the belt, there is a switch here which will check the height. Now, that switch can be a beam of light, and if the object cuts the beam of light, it is tall. If it doesn't cut the beam of light, it is short. Or it can be a switch like this, where there is an arm that can move, we hold the spring to pull it down, and this arm has got the wheel at the end, the conveyor belt is there, the jobs are coming along here, and there is a switch contact there. If the object is short, it's not going to close the switch. If the object is tall, it's going to press that arm up and the switch will close. You got the idea? I don't care how, but there is something that will determine if it is tall or short. The switch will close when it is tall, it will stay open if it is short. So that was your job. It's done by that switch. There is another switch at the bottom here. Now, that switch can be something like this. Just that. And there is the switch. When the object comes on top of that switch, it's going to press down because it's a belt. It's going to press down. But if it is light, it will not press down enough to close the contact. When it is heavy, it presses down more, it closes that switch. So this one here is checking the weight. So when the object passes through here, it's checking the height of the weight. <coughs> now, we put the switch to here. Switch one, uh, sorry, switch two on your drawings. Switch one is the start button. Which you don't see on your drawing. Now, when it closes that switch too, it knows what is the size. It knows if it is tall or short, it knows if it is heavy or light. And now it must paint. So what we've got, when switch two is closed, we've got here a container with red paint, another container behind it, 
with blue paint, another container with green paint, and another container with yellow paint. Now, you might look at that from the top. Here is that straight conveyor belt. The objects are coming in here. We've got that height switch here, or height detector, and the weight detector. Height and the weight here. And then we've got switch two there. And now we've got the four colors of paint here. Blue, green, red, and yellow. They are all closed. There is a solenoid. One of those four solenoids will open. Which one? It depends on what happened here. But only one solenoid will open. And it will paint. When it is finished painting, it touches switch 3. So while it is moving there, the paint is coming out and it paints that line of color on the job. Now it has finished. When it touches switch, it must stop the painting. So switch 3 is here. What must happen now is what did I say what you people are doing? You put a line of paint, you put it in the box. So, here we want, have got four boxes. And the jobs, when they are finished painting, must move off the conveyor belt. So what we've got here are four <coughs> arms. <coughs> Four arms. I draw it there, I can draw it like this. There are two there, and there are two here. These are called the divert flaps. So what happens if it touches switch 3, it stops the painting and then there are solenoids operating these four flaps. One of the four will move. If the object was short and light, this flap will move and the object will be forced to fall off into that box. If it is short and heavy, then that flap will move and the object will be forced to fall off into that box. Same here, tall and light, this flap will move, the object will be forced to fall in that box. And if it is tall and heavy, then that flap will move and the object will fall in that box. Now, as it falls into the boxes, Okay, first of all, there is a switch for year at the end, which I will talk about just now, switch four. But, as it falls into the box, there are four switches here. One, two, three, four. Switch five, switch six, switch seven, and switch eight. Can you see that it will close one of those four? Because it's going to fall off. If any one of those four switches close,